What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the top 20 free tweaks on iOS 8. So if you guys haven't jailbroken on iOS 8, be sure to check the links in the description below. I'll also show you how to install Cydia on Windows as well as on a Mac. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these tweaks. So the first tweak I want to talk to you guys about is called Alkaline. And you can see exactly what Alkaline does right here. So it changes or themes your battery indicator. So if we go into our settings here and we tap on Alkaline, you want to make sure that it is enabled right here. And then right down here is where you're going to select your theme. So if we tap on that, it comes prepackaged with three separate themes. It's Bolus, Habesha, as well as Spots. Now, if you change this up, if we tap on Habesha and we go back, you will have to respring your device in order to make those changes or make those changes take effect but we're not going to do that for this video now one thing to keep in mind is that you can actually download another theme that's working directly with alkaline and it's called live battery indicator so if you download that then there's going to be some extra themes that you can get right here and again that's a free tweak as well now, if you're looking to change up your keyboard a little bit, then you need to check out this free tweak called Blord. Now, what Blord does is give you this nice black easy on the eye keyboard as you can see right here and that's all that it does all you need to do is make sure that you enable it in the settings and this is going to work out system wide all your keyboards on all your applications and I think it looks really nice so definitely check it out now if you're looking for something a little bit different and maybe something with a little more color then you might want to check out blueboard so if we tap on settings here and we tap on board we're going to disable blord and enable blueboard so now what we need to do is just close out of the application that we were using and then open up notes again and you can see what this does it basically just gives you those blue keys so it really just depends on your preference what you think looks better on your device but definitely check them both out because they're both free now the next week we have here is called beta font 2 now you probably already noticed this but I have a completely different font system wide on my device and that's all thanks to beta font 2 now all you need to do is go over here to the beta font 2 app so if we tap on that then this is where it's going to show all of your fonts that you've downloaded so all you need to do is just tap on the basic little tab right here you can see these are tabs and then every font that you've downloaded is going to be right here all you need to do is tap on it and then that's going to install that font it will respring your device and then once it respring's then that font's going to be system wide now to download these fonts all you need to do is go into Cydia right here and then just type in beta font so if we just go right here type in beta font you can see there's beta font 2 but if we do a search you can see all of these fonts right here. Now a really easy way to do it is actually just to go over to sources and then tap on all sources and then you're gonna scroll down here to fonts. So you wanna look for Bita font. So we're gonna to continue to scroll here and there's Bita font too. So if we tap on that, here are all of your Bita font 2 fonts. And these are all the ones that you're going to wanna to use. You don't wanna use the older Bita fonts because they're not actually going to work. So make sure that you're downloading the Bita font 2 compatible fonts. Now, of course, this font that I'm using here is called Architect's Daughter, like I mentioned earlier. So if you want to download that, just search for Architect's Daughter, and it should go ahead and pop up, and you can download and install that. Now, next up, we have a tweak called Classic Badges, and you can see exactly what this does. It does look a little bit funky just because of the font that I'm using, so that one is kind of low, but that's just basically due to the font. It doesn't have anything to do with the actual tweak, but you can see right here what it does. It adds the red badge with a white ring around that. So if you're used to the older notification badges, then this is exactly what it looks like. Probably looks a little bit familiar, but there's really no settings or options to configure. Once you install this, it just works. So if you want to check out classic badges, then definitely do so. And to go right along with classic badges, we have classic doc. Now, Classic Dock is always an awesome tweak to get on your device, and you can see exactly what it does. Uh, there's some options to configure with this tweak, so you can make it look a little bit different, but what I have right now, you just have that mirror uh, look right here, and I just think it looks really nice, really clean, and we don't have any type of dock or color behind it, so I just think it looks really nice. So you can see right here, if we go into our settings and we tap on classic doc here you can see that you do need to enable it and then you have all your options right here again i've covered this very many times so i'm not going to go over all the settings but again this is a free tweak so if you want to tinker with it then you can do so next up we have a tweak called cylinder so you can see right here if we go back and we go into cylinder cylinder is basically like barrel if you don't know what either of these tweaks do they change the page swiping animations every time you switch pages so you can see you do need to enable this and then when you tap on effects you can actually stack these effects and there's a ton of different effects so you can see right here as i swipe from page to page we're inside a cube as you can see right there 
Now, if we tap on settings, let's go ahead and do a cube overlap. So we're actually going to stack that. So you can see what that looks like. Looks a little funky, not something I would use on a daily basis, but you can see how this works. So let's just go ahead and go to the carousel and cube inside. Again, that one looks a little funky, not something I really like, but like I said, you can go through here and you can find out some really cool different ways to make your page animations really stand out. Next up, if you don't like classic dock and you want a different look for your dock, then definitely try out dock shift. You can see right here that I have a theme enabled and there's actually a whole lot of options that you can choose from. So let's go ahead and check those out as well. So if we tap on settings here and we scroll down here to dock shift, open that up, make sure that it is enabled and then you can choose your style right here. So right now I have the blurred clearer. So if you wanted to check these out, you can just tap on one of these. Let's do the milk glass a bit less, no actually just do Let's do milk glass opaque. So we're gonna go back here and you do have to respring your device and this doesn't have a respring. And uh, let's just go into alkaline here and let's change this to bolus and respring it. Once it resprings, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so now that we're resprung, let's go ahead and slide to unlock and you can see that it changes up the way that the dock looks. So again, it really just depends on what you like. Again, you can try out all those different themes in the settings, just check it out and see what you think. And here we have a tweak that's well known and loved within the jailbreak community called flux so you can see what this does if we tap on the flux app icon that we have right here that's going to install when you install this you can see if we go all the way to the left what this does and if we tap preview then it's going to make the entire screen a whole lot less dim it's going to be a whole lot easier on the eyes it looks a little orange in the video but you can see that this can be really helpful at night when you're sitting there typing maybe you're typing a paper maybe you're just texting or maybe you're just searching the web it really doesn't matter this is going to make it a whole lot easier on your eyes you don't have to squint at the screen anymore so definitely check out flux because it is a free and awesome tweak Next up is actually a newer tweak and it's called Flurry. I love this tweak and it's a free one at that. So you can see what this does. If we bring down the notification center, you can see that nice effect that we have on the notification center. Of course, this is going to work on the control center as well and also in some UI elements within applications. So you can see it actually does it right there at the top where it says settings, that banner right up there. So I think this tweak is really cool. It gives a nice little visual effect to the notification center and control center. So definitely check this out if this is something you want on your device. Next up is another staple in my jailbroken device and you can see what that is. It's called iCleaner. So if we go ahead and open this up, you will get a little pop-up, a warning that says it does not officially support iOS 8.1 and to use at your own risk. I have used this and you can see right here, I'll use it right now just to prove that I have used it. and it works just fine so you again will have to use this at your own risk uh, but you can see it cleaned up all that space and I'll respring just to show you that it works and now we're resprung so it works just fine another must-have on every jailbroken device is called Mobius and what this does is allow you to continuously scroll through your pages so you can see I only have two pages but I can swipe back to the very last page or back to the very first page so that's all that Mobius does again no settings to configure it just allows you to go from the first to the last from the last to the first so very simple but very nice to have now you probably noticed that I've been opening up applications pretty quick and that's due to no slow animations. so you can see it actually speeds up all animations on your device and makes your device seem like it's actually computing everything faster so if we go down here to uh, no slow animations open that up you can see that I have it on the fastest but you can slow it down just a little bit it actually is not on the fastest not sure why that's all the way over to the left because usually if you have it all the way to the fastest then it's just going to open up there's no animation whatsoever but you can see right here if you mess with this just a little bit then you can actually make it a little bit slower if you want to slower to the is to the right and faster is to the left all the way to the left it's actually going to you know like I said automatically open up the application with no animation uh, we're probably right here I'm not sure why it's actually showing uh, that it's all the way to the left but this is probably the speed that I'm using right now so if you want to use that as a gauge okay seems like since I moved it now it's going to no animation okay so it's working So it looks like it's a little bit buggy, but it still works. So just keep that in mind. No slow animations. If you want to check that out, it can be a little buggy, but it is going to work. It's not going to crash your device or anything like that. 
Another tweak I always have on my phone is showcase. Now what showcase does is show the case in which you are actually typing. So if we hit the shift key, you can see that the next key is actually gonna be capitalized. And then if we hit that capitalized key, then it's going to go back down to lowercase. Again, if we put it on caps lock, then you can see just how this works. So showcase is something that I've always had on my device right when I jailbreak it. So definitely check this out if it's something you're looking for. Now, who hates that annoying volume HUD every time you hit the volume rocker? I do, of course, but you can see right here if we download and install Status HUD 2, then you can see what that does. If we hit the volume rocker, you can see that it actually puts the volume HUD right up there at the top so you can see it without actually obtrusing your entire screen. Now, there are some settings to go with this. If we go into Settings and we go to Status HUD 2, you can see if we just tap OK, you have the enable switch, so make sure that you do enable this, and then you have your style. So if we wanna do a square, then we can do a square as well. You also have size and dismiss delay. So you can change the size to larger if you wanna do that, and you can change the dismiss delay right here. So if we wanna do fast, then it'll go away pretty quick. So let's go ahead and do this, and check out the squares and see how fast it disappears. So that's how that works. Editing text is gonna be a whole lot easier with swipe selection. So if we go into our notes right here, and let's just say we're gonna type something out. It doesn't have to be anything very comprehensible. So you can see right here, if we swipe all the way across, then it's actually going to move that cursor all the way across. Another really nice feature, if we swipe from the backspace key, it's actually going to highlight from where my cursor is all the way over to the left. Again, if we do this from the right side, then it's going to, you can see, highlight all that as well. So definitely a really cool tweak. I highly recommend checking this out, especially if you do a lot of editing of text on your device. Now the next tweak or app, if you wanna call it that, is Winterboard. Now Winterboard works and it installs perfectly fine, but the themes don't actually work. Now you can install some things through Winterboard like Iconomatic or some widgets. So just keep that in mind. I haven't gone through all the ones that actually work but if you want to check that out, if you're really into widgets or, you know, really into Iconomatic, then you can check that out and install that and use Winterboard to apply those. Now, if you use Instagram, then you're definitely going to like this tweak. It's called Savegram. So if we open up Instagram here, you can see that here's my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, definitely check it out. There'll be a link in the description below. But if we just tap on a video or a photo here, you can see if we scroll down, to the little dot 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 after you install savegram and we tap on those dot dot dots you can actually save it so you can save the video you can save the photo just like that and it's going to save directly to your camera roll so you can see if we go over to our camera roll here we open that up then we have our picture saved from instagram but last and definitely not least we have zeppelin and you can see exactly what zeppelin does this is a tweak that's been around for a very long time it allows you to change your carrier logo right there so if we go into our settings and we go to zeppelin and open that up all you need to do is make sure that it is enabled and if you want to change your carrier text then you can do so right there but if we open this up and we scroll down you can see that we actually have all these different logos so these are the ones that come pre-installed with zeppelin when you install it but again you can actually download and install separate themes uh, within Cydia just by typing in zeppelin logos or anything like that and some stuff should pop up but once we tap on it, it automatically changes, as you can see right there. So definitely a really awesome tweak, and it's been around forever. So definitely check this tweak out. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a quick rundown of the top 20 free tweaks on iOS 8. Now, again, of course, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more tweaks as well as everything jailbreak and everything Apple, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, until next time, peace.